Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about N64, Sega Dreamcast, Nintendo Switch, and RetroArch. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Sega Dreamcast emulation with Washington, D.C. We talked about the revival of Washington, D.C. a few weeks ago, and the developer has been very hard at work at making this better. Now, one of the more recent updates to Washington, D.C. is the addition of CHD support. If you don't know what CHD support is at a really high level here, it's basically a compressed game format, and from my understanding, a relatively lossless compression. So if you ever have to decompress the game, you don't really have an issue. It will save you a ton of space, and it's nice to see the support. And if you want to learn more about Washington DC, I'll leave a link to their Discord server in the description below. Feel free to check them out. It is an open source Dreamcast emulator for both Windows and Linux. Next up, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Ryujinx. Now this is more or less just a PSA. We talked about this one in a previous video or two, but Ryujinx is dropping support for earlier versions of Windows. So if you have an earlier version of Windows 10, or maybe even Windows 7 or 8, you might want to consider upgrading or possibly dual booting with Linux. Now Ryujinx isn't doing this out of any sort of malice, it's basically earlier versions of Windows require a lot of work to get Ryujinx up and running, a few workarounds that they don't necessarily have time or the resources to do. If you want to learn more about this, feel free to check out one of my previous videos on Ryujinx. Moving on now, and we're still talking about Switch emulation, but we're shifting over to Android with Skyline. Yes, we have another Skyline update. Inside, while still graphically broken, did receive a bit of a performance boost, up to 20 frames a second in some areas. Dragon Ball Xenoverse is not playable, but it is now booting, and Minecraft Story Mode is booting, and wonderfully upside down. Next up, we're still talking about Switch emulation and we're still on Android, just something I'm not looking forward to at all. And that is Daemon Switch. Yes, you heard me correctly. Ever since the upgrade, upgrade to Egg NS switching over to that subscription service, talks of Daemon Switch have really heated up. It appears that June is the rumored month for Daemon Switch to hit the Google Play Store, and I'm not surprised to hear this considering June is just around the corner. They've been talking about Daemon Switch for a while, and Skyline has been absolutely killing it. In my opinion, the Damon team will want to push this out as quick as possible to capitalize on potential customers in order to make some money before Skyline completely decimates it, kind of like what Aether SX2 did to Damon PS2. I honestly have no hope for this emulator if it does come out, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was just a rebranded Egg NS. And I wouldn't be surprised if the same shenanigans were at play here. Truth be told, I'm just going to wait for Skyline and hope for the best there. Moving on now, thankfully, and we're talking about RetroArch on Steam. RetroArch on Steam just got two brand new cores, RetroArch GW, which is Game & Watch, and TGB Duel, which is Game Boy and Game Boy Color. As always, these cores are 100% free and you have to add them to RetroArch on Steam via DLC, so go on ahead and grab them. On top of that, RetroArch has expanded yet again. It's now available on the Samsung Galaxy Store. And something very interesting about this, on Google Play, the latest version of RetroArch is version 1.9.12, which came out back in November of 2021. On the Samsung Galaxy Store, we're sitting at version 1.10.3, which is considerably more recent. Personally, I still recommend downloading the APK directly from RetroArch's website. That way you get the latest and greatest version of it. But at the same time here, if you use the Samsung Galaxy Store and you also use the Google Play Store, the Samsung Galaxy Store might be the way to go to get the latest version of it. Last up, but definitely not least, we're talking about N64 emulation on PC with M64P. M64P just got a minor upgrade. Version A212039 just released May 29th, and it does have a couple of minor updates. One here is with Parallel RDP YUV, and if I'm not mistaken, it has to deal with color correction. And the second thing here is Mempack Emulation Improvements. You might not notice a difference, you might notice a difference, but at the same time here it's usually helpful to get the latest and greatest version. 
So I will leave a link to the GitHub in the description below. M64P is 100% free. And on top of that, they also have a Discord server. If you're looking for net play announcements, if you wanted to play with someone online, well, you might want to check out that Discord server. You might have some fun. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, and we did talk about quite a bit. I'm assuming a couple of you will have an opinion or two about Damon Switch. Let me hear them in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.